Just one shot the Aiden. My washer should cut in front of this Karina. Uh, with a Sashay cut. Oh my god, it didn't cut. Oh shit. What is up, YouTube? Today it is Wednesday and it's the second last Guild War battle of the season before we enter preseason. And uh, of course, we're going to be matching against Palladia, which is ranked number three at the moment. So we are hopefully going to come out clean. Um, but yeah, seems to be okay. And uh, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so for round number one, we are going to be hitting Aesthetica, one of my good friends. And um, we're going to be running Amid, Strays, and Washer on the first team. We're going to have Amid at 296 plus 10, so it should be a 306, which is going to outspeed any of these three units. We're going to have Strays at 230 speed plus 10, which is going to have a Zero Comet to cut in front to one-shot um, Bellion. And Watcher Shuri, we've calculated the damage and put it on uh, Portrait of the Saviors. Um, with S3 at 249 speed, so the idea is Amid pushes the Watcher, Watcher S3s the Karina, and then Azura Comet pushes up the Strays. Strays is going to S3 and kill the Bellion. For round two, we're going to have double Earth with Pillis. So Kisei is going to go into the Pillis here uh, on Adamant Shield. And then we have Violet to basically break the barrier on Kisei S2 when she comes back around so that we can one tap the Kisei and kill her. Once Kisei is dead, we can play 2v3 and we can stabilize by using Destina to heal up. Uh, so the ideal idea here is basically Kisei S3, S2 kills is the Violet. Violet has to have immunity on this comp because if it goes into like, a, you know, Kisei into a Tywin, defense break into Lilius, um, it could be bad, right? So we have to have immunity on the Violet to ensure that we don't get one shot by the Lilius S3 uh, in case the a Tywin is fast, right? So assuming everything goes to plan, this should be okay. So let's go right into it. All right, so we take the speeds. I was a little bit nervous there. I'm not gonna lie, and I, I know you'll be watching this uh, this video and watching the attack. So, or you might regret it. oh, we're both at a hundred, but that's fine. We're going to push. Let's push the Washer Shuri. The damage calc that I put up earlier was without attack buff, but this for sure kills Karina. She's dead. Thirty k. S3 goes on to the belly in here. Mature sunglasses. So, <laughs> at 20. So, belly live with like what, 5k HP, maybe? Uh, but that's okay because my watcher's gonna cut in front, so it's all good. We one tap the belly in, one tap the. Um, I almost called that the Aesthetica. It's because, like, that's. The profile that they use. Um, we we one tap the Briar and that's good. <laughs> Kisei moves to riches first, which is what we expected. 9.3k HP goes into the Pillis. That's fine. A Taiwan S3 goes. Yeah, I figured it'd be like something like some really tight tuning like this, where you go for like a a defense break into Lilius S3. And yeah, this shouldn't kill us. We're fine. Perfect. So now we just press S3 to stabilize. Kisei S2 is going to go. And then the Violet Immunity also wasn't just to re resist the death break from uh, A Tywin, but more importantly as well is to not get pushed back by the Lilius. Lilius S2 goes on cooldown. We get Perception here. We're going to drop the S3 into A Tywin. Since we can't debuff him with S3, so we'll just drop that into him. Kisei S2 is going to go with Gab. This should break the barrier and more. And we're going to just S3 into the Kisa here. And just for safe measure, we're going to push the Violet up. And we're just going to tap the Kisa because that's the only threat in this defense. And I, I think because this is a high effectiveness uh, A Tywin, I don't really think there's any lose condition anymore here. Uh, since all we're going to do now is just blitz down the Lilius slowly over time. Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks fine. Alright, so uh, I think I'll speed up the clip since this is going to take a little bit. Since we are going to have to have double earth hitting into fire Lilius. Uh, but I will see you guys in a few seconds here. Look at my sword. Not my sword. My sword. Here's your one. I will protect 
can. Mm -hmm. This way, don't be afraid. I don't want to be able. Would you have a friend? In the lightning, radiant one for a miracle. Still a long way to go. This way, don't be Need my help? Ah. Better move. Radiant light. Beast of the West. It's not too late. Don't break for your life. You know that? Watch and learn. In the lightning, come to me. Sure. I'm here for you. Keep on love. I won't lose. I'll have you kneel on this sword. For victory. Yeah. Foolish. Alrighty, so that's the fight over. Was a little bit scared there when the A Tower in defense broke my Violet, but I mean, we could have just cycled and have Destina S3, so it would have been fine, but over into the second one. Alrighty, now for the second battle of today, we're going to be hitting an old friend, Derp Turtle. Uh, we used to be guildmates in Parabellum, so Derp, if you're watching this, I hope you're doing well and hope there's no bad blood between us. Uh, but anyhow, we're going to be doing Ran first, uh, which is 309 plus 10 from this Sid, so 3 319 Ran. Uh, we're running uh, 261 Ida, so 251 plus 10 on book. And then we have Green Sid at 261 speed with Wind Rider and Pen Set. So idea is Ran S2, S3, Soul Burn. Ida S3 pushes up stuns and pushes up the Sid. Sid S3, S1, Bop. And then Zahawk on uh, on the bottom team here uh, at 287 speed on Symbol and the attack buff EE. Uh, we have damage calculated this to kill a Proof of Valor Aiden. So you will see it on screen now. And um, with this as well, we have to damage calculate um, as well in case the Aiden cuts us, right? So what if it's a you know two a three hundred Aiden, right? So we've damage calculated this so that this Inferno Kawazu is going to survive a four K three hundred pen set torrent set gab Aiden with Sword of Cycling Seasons, which you'll see on screen now. And I doubt that it's going to be a 300 Aiden with those stats, but we have to overshoot just to make sure that we don't, you know, fuck things up. Um, and then we have Protection Set on Aras with Aureus to provide extra survivability for the Inferno Kwazu. And assuming everything goes to plan, it should be a pretty clean fight. Let's go right into it. How should we do this? All right, so we take the speeds, 7% behind. Now we do the S3, probably Secret Art Sword Storm or Storm Sword. Oh, it's not. Alright, well if that's not the case, we still S3 Soul Burn. Okay, defense break. And then Rans, uh, sorry, Ida's gonna S3 to stun and push up the Sid. Now you're, you might be wondering, oh, what if it's Snow Crystal? Well, it's, it's defense broken, so it's dead. And I have attack buff. That's dead, boom, bada bing, bada boom, bop, clean. All right, second attack. So it's Ran moves first into Briar into Aiden. So 10.1k HP. Silver rain on Ran. Make sure we take the speeds for this team as well. Perfect. So this cuts 287. Take the screenshot. We're going to push up the Inferno Kawazu. And then we're going to one shot the Aiden here. Perfect, and then Inferno Kawazu is going to one-shot the Ran. We don't care if like if Bayer Iceria takes an S3 with attack buff, because it's it's not going to be able to kill Aras. So, no worries here. Won't you regret this? And he goes, does he kill Aras? Let's see. And no, unfortunately not. Rengar specials drink as well, interesting. So, we S2. Boom. Bop. Now you may be wondering, oh, why didn't we S3 on uh, on Aras's turn? I didn't S3 because I didn't want it to heal and then lose my Zahawk in case I need it for the third fight, right? So Aras is replaceable, Zahawk is not. And yeah, clean second fight, over into the third one. Alrighty, so for our last battle today, we're going to be running Inferno, Kawazu, Roana, and Mediator Querek against uh, Amid, Sanya, and Mercedes. Another old gilly of mine from Parabellum, so Cookie, if you're watching, I hope you're doing well, man. Take care. Uh, Inferno Kawazu is going to be on a damage artifact. <laughs> Don't crit. Uh, immunity EE is not... Uh, sorry, Immunity EE, Immunity Set is not required, but I have it. Uh, and Meteor to is at 232 speed, 124 ER, not needed as well, but just POV. I didn't want to change any gear on him. And then Rowana is just on standard Immunity Celestine, so we don't get automatically provoked on turn 1 by the Senya. Um, basically, just kill the Senya first, and then it's a heal against... 
the Mercedes and it's just bang, 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 free healing from magic for friends and counters and all that. Uh, R2, I'm going to be running a 287 as a Hawk with 10 speed imprint, so it's 297. Uh, the idea here is we're going to one shot the Aiden, even if it's on proof of valor, it's going to die. We're going to have a 249 watcher on Sashay with the S2 push from Zahawk to S2 push and Sashay push. It's going to cut and kill the Karina. And then we have Yuha on immunity so that we can just tank the Winter, NES3, NES1s nonstop. And on Holy Sack, in case we get any danger of any sort, I don't think it's really needed, but she's just here to tank the aggro. And then after these two are dead, we just 1v3 and that's it. And let's get right into it. So Aemon is 15.1k HP on, uh, I think, Fan and Light and Dark, I think. Once again. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Cookie probably just slapped a few units together and called it a day. Uh, which is understandable, they already, uh, Pal Palady already locked in top 3, so I mean, I understand why they would be just chilling. 9.3k Meru. Okay, so now we just get immunity up, and we get attack buff up here. And then we drop an S3 from our Infernal Kawazu onto the Senya. Hopefully we can land three burns if we don't crit. Uh, Maybe we crit, I don't know. We get the heal there. More healing. She shipped my attack buff, which reduces my damage on Inferno, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. It's almost dead, and then we just S3 here. And since Senya now isn't really a, a person, uh, we're just going to drop S2 onto the Meru to remove the attack buff, just so we don't get into any danger. Uh, but I think we can't really lose with this team. I think it's basically unlosable at this point. Holy Sacrifice. Okay. That's fine. We get another S2 reset on the Inferno Kawazu. We're going to S1 onto the Meru since she has no skill, null, no barrier. Keep going into the Meru here since she still has a second life. And no, no provokes landing for him. Just S1 again. And then, does Aemon have cleanse? She does, which means two debuffs. Hopefully we just pop the Senya. Okay, no, we didn't. That's okay. It'll just take a little bit longer now since uh, Aemon's going to be able to get skill null up and whatnot. But after Inferno Kawazu cycles back around and he has vigor, we can just drop an S3 and win. Okay, we remove the skill null off of the Aemid. She's gonna drop S3. Let's see. We're still okay. We're just gonna S2 onto the Meru because I don't, I don't want to be any in any danger of any sort. And I actually think let's just kill off the Aemid since the Mercedes attacked down. And she's dead. Perfect. Now we S1. Yeah, it's pretty much over at this point. Because Inferno's going to get another S2 reset. Nice. We S2 here. Or sorry, we S3. And Inferno should get cut by Med Mediator. Nice. Perfect. So we're going to S1 here. She's going to die. And then we're going to proc another S1 and kill. Or she's dead now as soon as she gets her turn. Boom. Perfect. Alright. Over into the second battle. Alright, so we take the screenshot here. Um, I think I did see Secret Art Storm Sword on the... Oh, never mind. Alabastron. Okay, so we basically just one-shot the Aiden. My Washer should cut in front of this Karina. Uh, with a Sashay cut. Oh my god, it didn't cut. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we're still fine. We're still fine. We're still fine. Because all the damage is going to go into the Yulha now. So we're still okay. It's definitely going to take a little bit longer now. But that's okay. Oh my god. We're defense broken. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh. Interesting. Okay. That's fine, right? S1 into the Karina. We get cut. Winter gets reset. 
We still have Holy Sack, so we're okay. Okay, we were sweating there for like one second, but it's fine. Yeah, and the Karina should be dead here. Perfect. Drop the S3 with Yulha onto the winter, and she should be dead, I believe. Nice. Perfect. Alright. When things go wrong, but you have good planning, it's okay, I guess. Alright, that's the last battle for today. Alrighty, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you guys had learned a thing or two, or at least enjoyed it. If you guys are able to support the channel, please just drop a like and comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys on Friday for the last Guild War of the season. Maybe we can do something kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah, as always, thanks so much for supporting. I love you guys. Take care. Bye!